だからなんだよああいつも言ってるだろう天才だろうが秀才だろうが壊れりゃただのガラクタなんだよよよよ what's good youtube it's your boy karma tv back at it again with another episode of kuroko no basket nba 2k24 my player builder man and in today's video man we're gonna be taking on a comment suggestion man somebody wanted me to make hiroshi Yamazaki from the Daichi team, bro. And when I first read that comment, I was like, who even is that, man? And then I kind of had to Google and rewatch some of the anime. And I was like, oh, yeah, I do remember that ginger kid from the Daichi, aka Evil Team, man. Unfortunately, he didn't have too many moments in the anime aside from getting kind of crossed up by Kuroko with that vanishing drive. But then I looked into it some more, and he's like the only player from that team who's not a dirty. P.O.S. So I kind of thought to myself, man, why don't I make a creative shooting guard from him since we don't really see too much of him in the anime, man. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so boom, look, listen. First things first, we're gonna make him a shooting guard. Hand, right or left, doesn't really matter. Go jersey number eight and make him from Japan to stay true to the anime. All right, now for height, we're gonna go at six foot five. So a bit of a taller build. I think he's like 5'11". In the anime but it's all good weight at 195 pounds wingspan at six foot seven and go body shape defined to get these exact same stats all right now we're gonna start with the shooting splits first for three point shot put that up to 87 mid range at an 81 and free throw it at 81 for right now that's gonna give you 24 shooting badges and we can get into some of the highlights here I'm hitting them with that double cross behind the back pull up bang Splat on him. Come on now. Okay, pull up on him for three. Bang, another one. Let's go. Can he hit the post fade though? Uh, hit him with that fake. Got him looking the other way. Bang, come on now. Uh, get that separation on Damian Lillard right there. Pull up from three. Another splash. Uh, did y'all not just see what I did? The post fade. Bang, another one. Let's go, Yamazaki. Uh, hits him with that cross. Step back, give me that, Hey! Alright, now we can get into the physical splits. For speed, I went up to an 88. That's pretty decent for a shooting guard. Acceleration at an 81. Vertical at a 71 for right now. And stamina at an 89. For driving dunk, I went all the way up to an 80. Well, not all the way up, but just make sure that no standing dunk is added. Driving layup at an 80 and close shot at a 68. That's going to give you 18 finishing badges to work with. And let's get into the highlights right here. I'm Arcing it up high. Come on now. That's Moses Brown. Tall ass, bro. Come on now. Uh, hit him with that spin move. Close shot. That's a good 2K animation that always goes in. Very annoying. Splitting the defense right there. Easy bucket. Now on to the defensive stats. We're going to go 88 on the perimeter and then 88 on the steal. That's going to give you silver clamps and silver interceptor. Pretty much all you need unless you want to go up higher with the steal to like a 95 or something. In the gameplay right here, you know, it's just so easy to steal it from the... <laughs> <laughs> from when they're bringing the ball up court off the inbounds give me another one right here he's gonna do it behind the back pull up okay that was actually kind of clean i don't think i've seen that animation before i get the clean steal from scoot right there go up for the dunk easy money you didn't see too much of the dunking in the gameplay but it's all good for playmaking we're gonna go 85 ball handle and 80 speed with ball pass accuracy at a 57 that's gonna give you 17 playmaking badges and he can definitely pass with that 67 pass accuracy get the alley-oop to DeRozan right there putting him on a poster passing out of the shot into bam I gained a lot more respect for BAM after uh, Team USA and everything like that. And another alley-oop to highlight his passing skill right here. Whoop, quick behind the back for the DeRozan fadeaway. That's too easy, man. Come on now. All right, and now to wrap out the stats, we're just going to go to a 26 post control because we got an additional point to kind of spend here. And with that, that's going to be the stats. So I'll pause right quick so you guys can take down the stats. All 
All right, now on to the takeovers, man. You got a quite a little bit to choose from, but I just went with spot up precision and finishing moves. That's just gonna give you kind of a well-rounded sort of build, especially when you get that takeover going. You can definitely kind of light it up from three or mid-range pull-up shots, whatever you really wanna do. It's gonna give us a build name of a two-way perimeter threat and give us comparisons to Dante DiVincenzo, Austin Reeves, and Larry Hughes some more athletic kind of shooting guards with the ability to spread the floor and to be able to get a bucket whenever they really need to outside of really Dante I don't know I don't really see him doing too much but I don't watch too many Knicks games man but with that that's going to be the build dedicated to Yamazaki like I said in the intro there's not really too much to go off of but I really do like kind of giving some shine onto some Kirkano basket players who really didn't get too much screen time in the anime or manga man which I have more to say, but at least he wasn't a cheating dirtbag like the rest of his team. But with that, y'all, that's going to be the video. Let me know who you want me to make next. Let me know what you guys want to see off this channel. Do all the typical YouTube jazz. You know, leave a like on the video, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. But anyways, with that, I'm out, y'all. Peace.